Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris Taylor here. Uh, if you watched my other video, that's great. But if you didn't, that's okay too. Most people know the basics and how to install it anyways. So what we're getting to is basically a player that looks like this. Now, in this video, I'm going to talk about customization and the options in Media Monkey. Okay? A lot of people say that Media Monkey is way too cluttered. There's, there's way too many buttons going everywhere and people don't know what to do with them. So I'm going to tell you about them. Okay, so these four, one, two, three, four, five, six things up here, you don't need to change. These are what you need to keep. Okay, but all these buttons, even if you don't know what they do, you can take them out. Okay, if you right click anywhere on this bar up here, you get all of these options to keep or to throw away, whatever you want. Now the standard buttons are all of those buttons that were there. Okay, search is that search bar. The view is what you see here. It's uh, to change the view to pictures, or I like to keep that because I like to put the track browser in sometimes, or I like to, uh, if it's going slow, I'll change it back to this uh, option. Okay, the navigation is this stuff up here, uh, and the shortcuts are the music explorer tree shortcuts, which I don't use either. So you basically got it down to a basic player now. That there's no buttons anywhere that much, uh, and it looks a little bit better. I also wanted to show you that you can change any of these um, boxes that you see here. So there's album art, music explorer tree, and now playing. You can change them and put them anywhere you want. You can put this over to the side. You can put the album art under it. You know, you can change it however you like it. Uh, there's really no no restrictions on how this player can look. Okay. Uh, another thing I want to show you uh, is the options now. Okay, there's a lot of options in Media Monkey. I want to highlight a couple of the most important ones. Uh, Hotkeys are a great thing if you're using a laptop and you have access to a keyboard, but your mouse is not too great. You can use a lot of the hotkeys, uh, which you can assign buttons to keys on the keyboard and move around the player with your keyboard, which is great. Uh, party mode is something where you can secure your computer with a password while your music is still playing through Media Monkey. If you've set up a party playlist at a party or something with your laptop and you want to secure it so people don't go through it, you can secure it with, uh, with a password here. Okay. Auto DJ is another thing. I always keep Auto DJ on because if you're playing through a playlist uh, or you have something in the now playing, uh, if it uh, is starting to end, Auto DJ will add tracks to that randomly, which is a great 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 thing okay uh, one more thing I want to show you is let's see um, mm -hmm. auto organize file monitor I'll show you that in another video you can change the search a little bit here you can change the filter and views okay uh, portable and audio devices here uh, this is where uh, all the plugin files for all the audio uh, audio devices that you use will show up. I have the Sansa Clip 4 gigabyte, so the plugin file uh, shows up here. I've also used an iRiver on this. I've also used an iPod. That's why these show up. Every time you add an audio device to your computer or to MediaMonkey, uh, it will download a plugin file and put it in here. Okay? So that's basically all the options that I usually use on a regular basis. Okay. Uh, one more thing is I wanted to... Let's Move this back here. Move this back here. It's a plane flying in the background. Okay, I wanted to show you a little bit more about the music tree. I don't need. I don't need a lot of these web, net radio, my computer, podcast subscriptions. I don't need those. I don't use those on a regular basis, so I usually take them out. So it looks a little bit better here, and there's more space for my playlist or for my library. Now in library. There's a lot of different options here. You can go through your music through artist, you can go through it through genre, album, year, and rating. If you rated uh, songs five stars, they'll show up here. If you rated them four and a half, they'll show up there. Okay. Classification is another great um, tree node. If you go through and you click on the song, click properties, and go to classification, you can add in a tempo, you can add in a mood. This is kind of a, a tranquil song, so we'll put that in there. Press OK. Now if you go to the mood tranquil, you will see the song shows up there. And if you have the time, and I mean a lot of time, you can go through all your songs and put in the tempo, the mood, occasion, and quality. Okay. Files to edit is another great one. 
uh, if you're adding songs in from a computer uh, that's not yours, or if you're adding from CDs or from somewhere in your computer, uh, chances are they won't have titles or artists or albums or genres. Something will happen to them. And here you can find a song or a CD that has an unknown genre or an unknown year, stuff like that, and you can change it if you like your music to be very, very organized. There's also unknown album art, inconsistent album art, dead links, stuff like that. Dead links is where the, the, the song's no longer on your computer, or the uh, media monkey can't find it somewhere. Okay. There's also duplicate titles, stuff like that. I don't use these last two virtual CD and previews, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more thing. If we go into properties, there's a lot of things here you can do to it. You can change the track title. You can also change the details about it. Classification, click on that. Lyrics, you can add in track lyrics. If you go to the, uh, if you go to somewhere on the computer and you find the lyrics, you can copy and paste them in there. You can also put the album right in there. Okay, so there's, there's that. Now, I'm not going to show you any more of this video. I kind of want to keep it a little bit short. I just wanted to show you that Mini Monkey can be customized in a lot of different ways, and I will show that in another video with skins and scripts. Okay, but just for now, I wanted to show you this. Uh, okay, thanks, guys. This is Chris Taylor. Watch another video, please. See ya.